Hi everyone, Gavin Treasy here. Today we headed down south all the way to Ginting. We're going to spend uh, four nights down there, enjoy a little bit of relaxation at the beach and have a bit of fun. So why don't you come along, enjoy the trip with us. It's the first time we're going this far south and uh, looking forward to a really good bit of relaxation and enjoy a bit of beach time. So let's head on out and have some fun. Looks like over the ocean there in front of us, we got some thunder clouds already building and it's only 6.40 a.m. So hopefully we don't have too much of a thunderstorm day later on, but that time of the year. We're now getting down to the Jai area. It's about halfway down to Genting, about two and a half hours drive. And uh, leaving early in the morning has really made the traffic uh, a lot easier lighter driving wise but uh, used autopilot almost the whole way it's done really great all lane changes everything has been automated so it takes a lot of stress off the driving itself so really recommend the autopilot stuff so we're going to stop in at Jai at the supercharger and uh, fill up the battery and then head on down to Kandink enjoy the drive with us In 200 meters, take the ramp on the right. In 300 meters, turn right. Now turn right. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, so we arrived at the supercharger, we'll get a charge and then carry on our journey. We've been getting some thunderstorm activity on and off on the way down here. But hopefully what it'll do is keep things a little bit cooler. At least the weather's cleared up a little bit down here, so it looks like we're in for a treat. And in a few minutes we'll be pulling into a supercharger down on the south coast here just to top up the battery. So we've got enough uh, battery juice for the days that we're staying here down in the camping area. Well, we've got a full battery again, so let's head on down and start enjoying the day. We just arrived here in Kinding and uh, we decided we had a few hours before we could book into the hotel. So we've come down to the little snorkeling spot and we're going to have a quick snorkel and uh, swim in the sea before we get around to booking into the hotel. We just come down this little path from up at the road, just about uh, not even 100 meters up there to uh, where we parked on the road. We come down to the beach and there we go. 
We're going to hop in, have a little bit of a snorkel, and we'll see you guys later.
Okay, so we got down to booking in at the Iran Hotel, and that is uh, just north of the uh, Kenting Beach area. And it's quite a nice room, a newish hotel. And taking a look up in the building, and we've got a room up there with a little balcony. And this is the front of the building. There's some tables out here. A nicely paved area coming up to the front of the hotel. Unfortunately, no real parking in the front of the hotel itself, but they've got a park area just around the corner. We got our car parked just over there. And I'll get a view from up on the balcony. So let's take a look upstairs and show you what the room looks like. As you come into the hotel, they've got a little lobby area here. Water machine, hot and cold water. And then because it's a beach town in there, what they've probably got is downstairs even, a little shower where you can wash off your feet before you go upstairs if you feel like it. And the elevator to go upstairs. here as we come in is the bathroom the basin a nice enclosed shower with western style toilet and that's good turning around we got the king size double bed a little desk area bar fridge little patio area, very small but still good enough to have some coffee in the mornings. A couple of little tables to put the luggage in our cooler box. Big screen TV, it comes with Wi-Fi, free back breakfast, uh, AC and uh, no actual closets in the room, just a little hanging space but these are more uh, short stay vacation things for beach goers. And this was uh, just about a thousand NT dollars a night. It's just about um, 35 bucks or so. And uh, not too bad. So we, we're gonna freshen up and then later on this evening just pop out for something to eat. And tomorrow we've got one of Teresa's friends coming down from Kaohsiung to spend the day with us. And we're gonna look at a couple of the local sites around here, in the, uh, the Kandin National Park and a couple of other areas. So, hope you guys stick around and uh, join us tomorrow for more fun. And like I said, looking out over the road, that's where we got the car parked in the parking area just over the road. Uh, this evening we decided to come down to the Kenting Night Market. So we're going to check this out and get something to eat here. And uh, hopefully we'll get some really good stuff. Let's take a look. And the parking lot had a lot of buses and that, so there's still quite a lot of foot traffic down here this evening. And it's a Monday evening. And the night market here in Kenting runs down the main road. It's parallel to the beach. So you've got to contend with cars, scooters, buses, everything. And the normal kind of fair for a night market, all the bits and pieces, games, drinking stuff. And as always, I'll let Teresa make a decision what we're going to get. Oyster? 
No. <laughs> and with our luck, we just started to get rained on, yeah. Might have to take a bit of shelter here in a minute. While we're waiting for the rain to stop, the trees just popped into a place and got some little sausages on a stick. We're getting our first little bite to eat for the evening. Tasty. A little bit sweet, but that's normal for the Taiwanese type sausages there. I'll take a bite. At least it's well cooked. And within minutes, all these vendors ended up with umbrellas out, plastic sheeting covering everything. And we got a pretty steady rain going. So we're gonna just hide out here in the corner for a little bit. We'll get going as soon as it stops. All right, let's see if our luck holds out and we'll take a little bit of a walk here. Still a couple of drops going down, but I think it should be light enough. You can get your full service bar on the roadside.